very own. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Anna McAllister. We begin tonight with tragedy out of West Wego. Police say a four-year-old boy was shot and killed by another child. The shooting happened around 1045 last night in a home on Stillwell Lane in Jefferson Parish. Sheriff Joe Lupinto says the four-year-old was sitting in a car with two adults and another child when he was shot. Just really uh, tragic situation that, uh, you know, this family is going to lose a, um, a loved one because of some negligence, which can always be prevented if uh, people take better care of their firearms. Later, the two adults were inside of the car smoking marijuana when the shooting happened. Sheriff Joe Lapinto says his office is looking into the evidence to see if the adults will face charges. And we've learned some new information about a double shooting that happened yesterday afternoon in New Orleans East. According to the NOPD, one of the victims was a 16-year-old boy. The other victim was a 32-year-old man. Police say the victims were in a car at the intersection of Park Brittany Boulevard and South Coronet Court when the shooters approached them and opened fire. The identities of the victims and their conditions have not been released. And the New Orleans Police Department is asking for the public's help to find two missing men in two unrelated cases. 46-year-old Revis Neolette was last seen on February 19, 2021 in the 8th District. He hasn't been seen or heard from since. Police are also looking for 67-year-old Oscar Olney. Olney was last seen on January 23rd outside of his New Orleans home. If you've seen either of these men, call police. And six boaters are safe this evening after the Coast Guard rescued them near St. Bernard Parish. The Coast Guard received a notification just after midnight on Saturday about a 21-foot boat in Christmas Camp Lake that ran aground due to the sudden changes in water depth. Three adults and three children were on board, and the Coast Guard deployed an air unit to lift the six people on the boat safely out. And thankfully, all six of those people are okay. When the federal government said it would provide at-home COVID tests for free, scammers saw that as an opportunity. The Better Business Bureau warns that some fake websites are offering tests but are really just collecting your information to steal your identity. The real website, covidtest.gov, only asks for your name and address. So if websites ask for more details like your phone number or social security number, beware. With very little information, a scammer can go into business as you. So really protect that personal information. With just a little bit, they can really ruin you financially, empty bank accounts, soar up your credit. If something doesn't feel right, make sure you typed in the right web address. Scammers often use addresses that are very similar to the real website. And remember, the tests are free. So if the website asks for a Medicare ID or credit card number, it might be a scam. And Mardi Gras is officially in full swing. Today, the crew of Nefertiti rolled in New Orleans East, kicking off the star of float parades. WGNO's Jordan Lippincott finds out why parade goers are more excited than ever. The sounds of Mardi Gras filled the streets of New Orleans East as the crew of Nefertiti rolled along Lake Forest and Reed Boulevards. According to this year's crew captain, Zena Smith, their motto is, we serve before we roll. So what we do is every year we get together and we do a host of community service. So the parade is actually the land yap. The parade is the big finale to an amazing year. So we're excited to bring this parade to New Orleans East. Smith says she and her crew were extra grateful this year. You don't realize you miss something until it's gone. So with us not being able to have Mardi Gras for the last year, now having it, it's just the excitement is heightened. Families traveled from all across the area to experience New Orleans' first float parade of the 2022 Mardi Gras season. We live uptown where the parades start. This is our first time coming to New Orleans East Parade. Not only is this the first float parade of the season, but also the first float parade since before the pandemic. After the pandemic, this has just been a wonderful thing for them to actually get to see what New Orleans is about. And the kids are just as excited to resume their Mardi Gras traditions. Now that we have Mardi Gras again, now we get to have a lot of fun. And every day we could come out and see a lot of people. Jordan Lippincott, WGNO News. And next up, the crew of Chewbacca's rolls in the Marini next Saturday. The parade starts at 7 p.m. 
at the corner of Homer Plessy Way and St. Claude Avenue. And over at the Hilton Hotel downtown, the party for this year's Zulu King and Queen is just wrapping up. The celebration comes after this morning's announcement that Crystal Jewel Met was chosen as the 2022 Zulu Queen. As part of the decades long tradition, Jewel Met was greeted at the Louis Armstrong Airport with champagne, flowers and a brass band. She will reign over the Zulu Parade Mardi Gras Day along with King Zulu Randolph Rudy Davis. And former LSU Tigers Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase are on their way to another championship game, but this time they're going to the Super Bowl. The Cincinnati Bengals defeated the Kansas City Chiefs during overtime to the excitement of many Louisianans, including our governor. Governor John Bell Edwards took a moment to congratulate Burrow, tweeting, Louisiana still loves you, Joey B. Way to go. We'll have the highlights from that game with Jory later on in sports.